everybody this morning. But they didn't know that. Yeah. 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 But it is 10 a.m. on Tuesday, May 13th, 2014. Welcome to your Webster County Supervisors Weekly Meeting. First item on the agenda is to approve the previous meeting minutes. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item one. Second. We have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item number two is to receive and place on file drainage repairs. I would report today that we have three requests for drainage repairs. Uh, the first one is from drainage district number 34 in uh, lateral E. Burnside Township says there's a blowout on the tile line south of the outlet and in, into the open ditch and it's turned in by Don Sandell. The next one is for drainage district number 64, branch lateral number one in Clay Township. And this is a blowout in the tile line in the southeast quarter and this is turned in by Dan Rasmussen. That's incorrect, we only have two today. So we have a motion to receive and place on file the drainage repairs. Mr. Chair, I make that motion. Second. A motion second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Item passes. Item number three is to approve the hiring and employment of Anna Larson, a part time correctional officer effective May 5th, 2014, at the rate of $14.15 per hour as per the recommendation of Steve Albert's jail administrator. Mr. Chairman, that was item three. Second. We have a motion second. Do we have any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item number three passes. <coughs> Item number four, we send the resignation of Austin Scott, part time correctional officer, effective May 6, 2014, and approved transfer to part time transport officer position. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. We have a motion second. Any discussion on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item number four passes. Item number five, approve the hiring and employment of Barbara O'Connor, part-time ARNP, effective April 30th, 2014, at the rate of $68 per hour, as per the recommendation of Carrie Prescott, Director of Public Health. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item five. I'll second. A motion and a second. Do we have any discussion on this? Okay, seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item number six passes. Item number seven, adopt a resolution establishing fund balance policies as required, required by GASC. Time out, excuse me. Time out. Yes, let's just get a six. I've crossed the wrong thing. It happens. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I was just <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> I apologize to the, to the public. Item number six, approve the transfer of $393.75 to the Conservation Trust Fund from the General Basic Fund for the proceeds from the sale of scrap metal. Mr. Chairman, I move item number six. Second. A motion second. Do we have any discussion on that or questions? I suppose that's from the tractor that rolled into the lake. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Now we'll move on. Item number seven. Adopt a resolution establishing fund balance policies as required by GASB 54. Mr. Chairman, I move item seven. Yes, I'll second the motion, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion and a second. Do you have any discussion about GASB 54? Not if I don't think it's Basically, this resolution should have been adopted uh, back when I was sick. And just now, discovering that we should have it in place. Basically, uh, board pretty much controls the general fund, and we give a little bit of discretion to the auditor on how we report these on the financial report. Um, primarily, because uh, we, we don't on our cash, but you do on your uh, approved audit financial statement. Basically, it's the classification of whether the funds are assigned or restricted. Yes, I think. That clear down. Mm -hmm. Just get my back. Just, just as long as 
that discretion that the auditors not considered a slush fund. There's no slush in the fund. Not at least for two and a half. So uh, I'll call for a motion all in favor of adopting the resolution uh, fund balance policy. Signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item number seven passes. Item number eight. Consider slash approve and authorize the chair to sign object objection concerning the designation of a permanent right of way along all open ditches of drainage district number 96 in Webster County, Iowa. Move on, please. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion on this? None. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Item number 11 passes. Item number 12 is the citizen's opportunity to address the board with items not on the agenda. Seeing no one rushing forward, we'll move on to Board of Supervisors Committee reports. 
How much does CBD meeting last Thursday? And they continue, the hotels continue to be full, and we get a proportion of that for CBD to attract some things from Fort Dodge, and we have a nice reserve for health funds and projects. So if somebody has a project that will bring people to the town, stay in the hotel, they'll see the CBD, they'll look at it. to a recognition reception for foster grandparents. Um, it, it was really a nice reception for them. They do, uh, there were about 40 foster grandparents there and um, I kind of added up and between them all, uh, they put over like 261,000 hours of work in the schools. So uh, it's a really good program. A lot of people, you know, if you've had kids in the school system, especially grade schools, you, you've seen the benefit, especially reading them. Just wanted to, from us, publicly, again, thank them for what they did. I was pleased to uh, meet with two of the DOT executives in uh, Ames and last week, primarily to clear the air in terms of a variety of rumors that have been going around uh, that maybe we had lost, lost a little bit of uh, uh, progress, if you will, in terms of uh, Highway 24 in Western Iowa. And uh, among other things, one comment was is that we had moved down in the list of priorities, uh, and indeed not the case. There are basically five uh, projects in Iowa, uh, what they call quarter projects. And uh, the DOT does not put those in any kind of a order of preference. Five that are there, and they put the various uh, uh, monies to your funding to each one of those. So there was there were not number one, we're not number five, we're just one of five. And and even sometimes when you see a list, they'll go alphabetically. Well, if T is twenty, we could be at the bottom. That doesn't necessarily mean we're at the bottom. Uh, so that's that's one thing to get clear to you. But a variety of other things, the funding mechanism. Uh, is still in place called Time 21, and it's not changed. There was some legislation that was introduced that would change the percentages for Time 21, but that didn't go anywhere this year, and so it remains unchanged. There are a whole variety of other issues. Uh, four lanes going through Correctionville with a path with a turn lane in the middle. 45 miles an hour is the amount, or is the speed limit, going through Correctionville on the north side. Now that's primarily a safety issue, and to increase that uh, going through a community uh, seems to be somewhat uh, ill-advised. On the other hand, um, there are not any stops planned as Highway 31 and, ch and change, or intersects with uh, Highway 24 lane change. Uh, also, I was pleased to find that there is some planning work going on uh, the 33 miles from Burley over to Correctionville, but additional funding has not been placed there, nor will it be until there is some additional funding presented, and I'll talk about that. So, I'd be, uh, and at the moment, it is, nothing has changed, things are continuing, and I think we're as well positioned as what we can be in terms of what the DOT has to deal with currently. And, and, uh, so that's it. I'd like to thank everyone for the reports and now I'll now look for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you everyone for coming.